Hi, good evening everyone. Hi, good evening everyone. Oh, and Hello. All the week, diba? I'm Savior. And Savior. Yeah, today so, is Monday, Thursday. Thursday. We'll visit, we'll do a visita iglesia. Yeah, or... We'll visit a, a lot of um, colonial churches in Ilocos Norte. Yeah, most of them. Most of them. But the panata kasi during the the Monday, Thursday is visita iglesia, right? Mm -hmm. They some are or church the, visitation oh, or church visitation some are visit um seven churches or some naman are 14 but it depends kung ilan ang gusto kung mo sayo, actually oh, pero sa pilipinas usually it's seven eh. it's seven. Yeah, seven tapos you make a wish no you ask forgiveness and then if ang, you finish uh, daw ang tradition is kung nagbisita iglesia daw usually magagrant yung wish mo oh hindi pag you ask forgiveness mo. and then after daw na complete mo daw yung visita iglesia then your wish will come true yes or something like that magagrant yeah but this eto hindi naman sa Pilipinas lang eh most Catholic uh, countries ginagawa ito pero the tradition varies per country syempre matagal na natin ginagawa to at sinasabay na natin ngayon ang faith tourism yeah this is this is part of faith tourism so nakikita nyo so nasa lawag kami ngayon that's the famous uh, bell tower of uh, the Lawag Cathedral or St. William's Cathedral it's a national cultural treasure nakikita nyo medyo traffic no so majority ng mga turista na dumadayo sa Ilocos pag Holy Week ay syempre Pilipino and most of our Filipino uh, brothers and sisters ay Katoliko. Katoliko. Kaya sinasabay na yung uh, pag-tour sa pagbisita iglesia. Part of faith tourism. Yeah. So natin. maraming mga ano ngayon dito. Maraming uh, maraming turista ngayon. Yeah. 8.30 na ang time and by this time supposedly walang traffic pero traffic pa rin. Super traffic. Yeah, so itong area sa bibisitahin natin, Lawag Cathedral, Santa Monica Church in Sarat, San Nicolas Church, Immaculada Concepcion in Batak, and uh, where else? Poway Church, of course, and the Shrine of La Virgen Milagrosa de Badoc. And ang isa. Ano yung isa? Ulang pa ba? I will go to Dingras. And Dingras, okay. St. Joseph. Yeah, yun yung isang heritage church yun natin. Okay, so we're looking for a place to park. Our first stop is Lawag Cathedral. Since sa Lawag na kami, unay na natin. So some churches in Sao Paulo not there. They prepare the altar, no. Kung baka pabonggahan ng altar to so makikita niyo mamaya. Well, supposedly hindi, pero, supposedly, pero it's because of faith siguro that they want to make their the, no, the adoration kasi, chapel yeah. more as beautiful as they kasi can. Kasi marami daw marami daw bisita kaya da, yeah, marami bisita pero kailangan daw nila yeah. ipakita na naghanda sila yeah. para sa mga you know, bisita. You know, faith can be uh, expressed in different ways oh, and yeah. one is through artistry. Right. So papasok diba? Okay, so we're uh, natapos natin yung first uh, church natin, which is Lawag Cathedral. And now we're here at Santa Monica Church. Yeah, in the town it's, of Sarat. Uh, town of Sarat, Ilocos Norte. That's the longest, Santa Monica Church is the longest uh, church in Ilocos region. Yeah, because it has, it has the longest aisle. Oh. So it's ideal for weddings. Ito kinasal si Miss Irene Marcos at si Araneta. Mr. Greggy Araneta. And the building or the church is an important cultural property because of its architecture. Yeah, kaya madami ng papa kasal jan kasi na kapag isip pa yung babae kung itutulong niya kasi lo. But while walking down the aisle, time pa siya magisip isip. So we're heading up to Dingras. To Dingras. Yeah. Saint Joseph Church. Yes. Saint Joseph the Carpenter. Yes, the Carpenter. Okay, the father of Jesus. So, yung church ng Dingras, uh, dati siyang uh, ruins. Ang tawag nun ng mga locals ay Rorog. That's, uh, Rorog is Ilocano for ruins. Tapos because of the uh, uh, dedication of the parishioners, uh, they were able to raise an amount para maayos yung simbahan. So, it's an ongoing project pa hindi pa siya tapos. But you would see later on yung facade at other parts tapos na. And... Okay. 
Kaki, uh, tapos na kami sa Dingras. And our next stop is San Nicolas de Tolentino Church. And obviously, the town of San Nicolas. <laughs> so, dadaan tayo sa sa kabila ng Padsan River, hindi hindi via Lawag. Usually, pagpunta mo sa Nicolas, kailangan mo duban ng Lawag or Batak. Uh, dadaan tayo sa may east side. So, San Nicolas Church is uh, an important cultural property as well. Recently declared lang siya. Ganda na bahay, oh. Oh. It's a Purugunan house. It's a oh. mark historical structure. Hindi na siya kita. Inayos na. Ano, hindi na siya kita. Balikan natin yun one time. Oh. Uh, it's a historical house ko dito sa Dingras. So, uh, if you're not mistaken, ang Dingras, uh, sa Ilocos Norte, ang may pinakamara pinakamaraming um, Preserve Spanish Colonial Houses So yung mga bahay dito Hindi katulad ng vegan uh, Na inexacto uh, Pero quite close Pero iba kasi yung style dito sa norte Mas mas malawang yung bakura Na mga other things uh, yun. So yung back to San Nicolas Back to San Nicolas tayo So San Nicolas is Before it, uh, If I'm not mistaken According to the source Sino the, the, diba TV show yung The Source? <laughs> it's seated <laughs> daw like uh, I mean yung uh, the head of ano ba parang yun sana magiging cathedral Si may kwento naman nun uh, eh, Sabi nung kaibigan mong pare <laughs> Pero alam ko yung San Nicolas nun uh, for for a time uh, naging part ng lawag naging part ng uh, tawag nito parokya ng lawag tapos siniwalay nga noon hindi hindi San Nicolas ang dating pa, patron ng San Nicolas eh sino yung oh. original pero naging San Nicolas uh, based sa kwento naging San Nicolas kasi may bagyo ata noon or may natural disaster tapos yung mga townsfolk uh, instead of praying to their previous patron they pray to San Nicolas de Tolentino nung nagpray daw sila sa kanya uh, it became easier yung uh, uh, tawag nito, management niya sa bagyo nun among other things eh. Tapos, and Saint, Saint Nicholas or San Nicholas is ang tinatawag natin na Santa Claus oh yeah, correct, siya ba yung San Nicholas ito lang tino? yes, siya yun yan, Santa Claus Saint Nicholas oh Saint Nicholas yeah, ang San Nicholas po ngayon ang emerging business hub ng Ilocos Norte at ng buong uh, Ilocos region and San Nicholas is our pottery Copy yeah, copy. yung uh, local pottery making called Tamili. Tamili. So, ayun. Okay, so kagagali lang natin sa San Nicolas and we're off to our next church uh, sa neighboring city of Batak. Well, Batak is known for being the birthplace of President Marcos at Epanada. But this time we're visiting the Immaculada Concepcion Church. Uh, dito nga sa Batak City. Okay, we're done with Batak. So next is Pawai Church. Pawai Church is or San Agustin Church. Yeah, I think we don't have to introduce anything about Pawai Church because we all know what Pawai Church is. Pero ah. sa mga hindi nakakaalam, uh, ang Pawai Church ay ano? one of the UNESCO. Because in the Philippines, we have four UNESCO churches. Yeah, no? UNESCO World Heritage Site, the yeah. Baroque Churches of the Philippines. Because in so ano yung apat? Uh, apat Miyagaw, in, Iloilo. Iloilo. Okay. San Agustin Church in Tramuros. In Manila. In Third Manila. is? 
uh, Santa Sa- Maria Church in Locos Sur. And fourth is? San Agustin Church here in Pauay, Locos North. Yeah, so apat. So ito lang po yung World Heritage Site sa Ilocos Norte. Uh, na-inscribe siya because of its outstanding uh, example of earthquake baroque architecture. At the same time, ito lang ang simbahan na gawa sa coral stone. Yeah, coral stones from? Kurimao. And Masintok in Pauay, Pauay. sa San Junes. Tapos na tayo with, tapos sa Pauay, so we're heading further south to our last stop for the Visita Iglesia, but not the least, Ikangan ni Carlo, ang Shrine of La Virgen Milagrosa de Badoc, and soon to be the Basilica Minore de La Virgen Milagrosa de Badoc, Ilocos Norte. Sa tayo sa Visita Iglesia natin for this so, year. So, nakapito tayo. Yeah, seven. That's the Seven the colonial number. churches. Yep. Nasa Badok Church tayo ngayon. Oh, yeah. The Shrine of La Virgen Milagrosa de Badok. So, yeah. I hope our prayers get answered, best friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sana napatawad tayo. Sa mga kasalanan <laughs> oh, natin. Diba? So, ngayong Holy Week, naglinay-linay tayo. At yeah. sana sa mga buwabiyahe, mag-ingat po. At ito po si Carlo Caldito. As a savior, and may you all have a meaningful holy week with your loved ones. Yes. In life, you must travel by. <laughs>